What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day today here at the Regatta RV Resort in Grove, Oklahoma. And I'm standing outside of the legend Mark Martin's coach and they just got done with the Mark Martin Invitational. And we found the legend himself. How you doing today, sir? Doing great. Uh, had a great day out uh, riding the side-by-sides and uh, just had a ball. Awesome. Now, this is a different coach since we last saw you at the Barrett Jackson down in Scottsdale. It's been about a year and a half. How have you been, sir? I've been really good. Uh, loving life. I uh, couldn't, couldn't ask for any better. Now, I've been watching your Instagram. I know you've been polishing circles and ceramic coating circles around this coach. How are you liking your new coach? Oh, I love it. I love it. I've rubbed on it for a little over a year now. So, I uh, finally got it where I want it. Nice. Well, I want to ask you a few questions about what you're up to, but can we show the folks on uh, YouTube uh, your engine bay? And I want to get a closer look at the paint, too. Absolutely. I, I know uh, everybody talks about Mark's engines bays, but something I noticed on this coach that I didn't notice on his previous coach here is this ghosting in the paint here, and there's like a metallic pearl there. I don't know if the camera's getting that, but that's where it's all about for you sir uh what's going on back here well it needs to be detailed because it rained last night <laughs> and we've been running uh having fun all day today so i've got to get out here with my detail spray and my rags and get her shine back up yeah i think you've got more chrome than any other uh engine in any motorhome on the road <laughs> better have <laughs> yes sir how long have you had this coach for now it's about 16 months now and it takes me about a year to get everything exactly like I want on one. And then after that, I start getting bored and I, <laughs> I wanna start the, the build process. I really enjoy uh, the process of building and improving, uh, you know, these coaches. And, and uh, so, you know, it's about time to, to start moving in that direction. So what's different about this coach than your previous coach that we saw at Barrett Jackson last year? The Intrepid 2.0, uh the new dash with all you know everything at your fingertips there the the x15 engine um there are a lot of improvements in this coach uh electronically and in uh in some of the other ways as well so um it's a it's a was a pretty nice step up from uh from our uh 18 coach which coach is faster Oh, uh, this one, uh, the X15 it performs a little better than the ISX, honestly. Uh, and it also gets a little bit better fuel economy as well. What, uh, can you share with everyone on YouTube, what kind of a zero to 60 are you getting out of this coach? It's really good. Um, it will do pretty much whatever you really want to force it to. Um, I, I, uh, I kind of keep that to myself, but <laughs> yes, it's sir. uh for a 60,000 pound uh coach. Uh, I don't think there's anything out there that will that will beat it. How many newels have you owned now? This is uh the sixth one. I had three newels in the 90s, and then I had three bus conversions through the 2000s, and uh, and then in 2015, I uh called Carl up and I said I need a coach and so we've done three since then we had a 16 and 18 and now this is 21. So when are you taking delivery of the seventh Newell coach? <laughs> uh, probably next year it's uh, very possible uh, you know that we we, we we started the process so um, so it could be next summer nice i noticed the paint you know i'm a big paint guy and i'm gonna take a closer look here at the back of your coach now i don't remember the coach you had before this was black white and silver but i'm seeing a really cool design up here and then i mentioned that ghosting that kind of ghosted pattern with the pearls a heavy metallic in the silver with the bright red pins and then of course you could see these little drop shadows uh through here uh did you have all of this on your on your last coach or is that all new no this is uh completely different my last three coaches were the same paint codes they were uh white silver and black and charcoal i just i wanted to do something completely different so we did this with the reds and i really loved it um and i really uh i think going forward 
I'm going to have to stick with some of the reds anyway. Uh, this has really been my favorite, probably, paint scheme that I've had in many, many years, or maybe the favorite one of all. Yeah, now is there any inspiration for the red, or what, what caused you to go with the red? I just wanted something different, and... Um, and, and everybody is pretty big on blue right now, and I don't like following the trends at all. And also my wife Arlene said, not blue. <laughs> and she also said not red until I brought her this rendering home. And when I showed her this rendering, she said, I like that. So now she really likes it. And, uh, and, and it was just something different and I've, I've really liked it. All the folks out on YouTube, I know you're a big inspiration for a lot of people. Is there any advice that you would have for any RVers out there that may be thinking about purchasing an RV or a Newell coach? Well, if you're interested in a Newell, you better be diligent because they're scarce as hen, hen's teeth, I tell you. <laughs> you just can't, you know, and, they, and they're selling, they're a lot like homes right now, they sell the day they go on the market it's it's really really crazy you know the the boom and explosion of rvs has has you know pretty much hit from the very entry level all the way to the top custom uh coaches and uh it's tough to it's tough to get a new one right now um and, and you know if you if like me if you order a new one you're looking at 18 months. Um, so uh, that's why I kind of stepped up about six months ago and and uh, I wasn't really ready and uh, yet, but I knew that there was a long line. And so I got in line and, and I'm, you know, a third of the way there now. Well, I saw you talking to Ryan Laux about your paint scheme. Any, can you give us any hints about what we uh, should expect in your next coach? <sighs> You know, I haven't decided for sure yet, but you know, I'm really leaning toward, for the first time, uh, black wheels and, uh, and and some a little bit more silver, uh, and of course the reds, and that's what I've asked Ryan to work on, and he's got me one that is pretty much what I asked for, but it kind of scares me because it's it's outside my comfort zone but it is definitely what I was asking for so we'll see we'll keep noodling on it we've got a lot of time yet and uh, and and all but it's exciting to get a chance to work with Ryan uh, you know I I, uh, I think that uh, Newell has really upped their game in the paint department has continued to up their game uh, you know through the years and uh, I think, you know, they're, they're second to none at this point uh, with their paint. And uh, they're really pushing all the custom coach manufacturers uh, to up their game. Yes, sir. Now, uh, new floor plan, are, are you going to uh, do any uh, modifications to the floor plan or anything new that you want in your next coach that isn't in this coach already? Yes, um, and that was another thing, you know, on this coach, I would kind of wanted to do black wheels, but I wasn't brave enough to do it. And I also kind of wanted to do a, a little bit different floor plan. And at the end of the day, I was, uh, I, I chickened out and didn't do that uh, with uh, moving the, the bedroom slides forward some and doing the flat floor bathroom with the washer and dryer in the, all, all the way in the back of the coach. Uh, and Newell is doing a lot of those now, and I've had a chance to see them. And so, um, yeah, I would definitely go in that direction with the floor plan. Pretty close on a floor plan right now already. So, uh, had a chance to work with James some on that already. And um, it's not really time to spec the coach out, but I've got, I've got a pretty good solid idea of where we're going on the floor plan. Awesome. Well, myself and the folks on YouTube are really excited to see what you come up with. Is there anything else you want to share with the folks on YouTube while I've got you here? Just that I love uh, Andrew Steele's videos, man. This is uh, such a great channel, and you do such a great job, uh, you know, bringing all this exciting uh, world of, of 
custom coaches to to market and uh, I think it's just a great resource for uh, everybody who loves uh, motor coaches. Mark, I can't thank you enough for taking the time. And if you guys didn't see the video we did out at Bear Jackson and Scottsdale, definitely worth checking out. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I'll let you get back to enjoying this new old rally. Can't thank you enough, sir. Thank you, Andrew. Good to be with you. Likewise, I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks, everybody.